Hello, everybody. This is Broship of the Nerds, Billy here, and I'm going to tell you some things that the average nerd, maybe it's just me, deals with. I don't know, maybe you can relate, just let me know. So here's the problem I have. I, a lot of times, find myself in scary situations. So here's an example for you. I used to live in Danville. At the apartment I stayed at, there was a wasp nest above the apartment. Okay, I did not realize this. What happened was, I went to work in the morning. It was dark. I came home. It was daytime. It was 95 degrees, really hot. So, I get to the door. There are two wasps in the doorknob. I'm like, nope. I go back to my car. I call my friend. I'm like, dude, what do I do with wasps? He goes, let me ask my girlfriend. He goes, alright, she says cover as much skin as possible so you don't get stung. So, here I am. 95 degrees plus humidity. I'm sweating. I mean, I got to smell like bad. I lifted furniture all day. I did some hard work. I come home. I'm sweating already. Get to the door. My coat on, winter gloves and everything. I open the door. I waited for the wasp to get off the doorknob. I open the door. Everything's cool. I get in. I shut the door. I'm like, okay, all's clear. All of a sudden, I hear buzz. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I learned two things that day. One... If you're going to kill a wasp, don't be scared. Just go up and do it. Two, throwing three or four shoes and missing every time doesn't do anything except for piss off the wasp. So I did that. I finally kill it. My buddy goes, oh, yeah, make sure you clean it up good because they can smell whenever one of their uh, family members die. I'm like, great. Now I'm going to have a whole family of wasp after me. So, yeah, that's just something I deal with. Other things I deal with. You know, a lot of people say, hey... What talent do you have? It's like, what are you talking about? You know, most families, you have like a talent you pass on generation to generation. Like my grandpa, dad, really good at painting. Um, my great grandpa worked with his hands, a lot of mechanical stuff. The three of them like to tinker around and mess with things. Really good. Do you know what talent I got from them? Tripping over flat surfaces. So I do that at work or other places. I'll trip on flat surfaces and everyone's like, oh, there goes that weird kid tripping on flat surfaces again. So yeah, that's what I tend to do. I, I tend to be clumsy and I trip on flat surfaces like, hey, that tile, that popped up out of nowhere. You know, I just, I lose all that stuff. So it's just bad whenever you get the talent that is not useful. Thanks a lot, family. Anyways, also another th struggle I find is um, always feeling like that, uh, you know, just always feeling like that I'm not prepared for things. There are times where you go to the doctor and doctor, you do a routine checkup. And they go, oh, very interesting. We found something. I'm like, mm, what did you find? It's like, oh, I don't know. Nothing too concerning. It's like, oh, thank goodness. But we are going to have to do like eight different tests. Like, great. I know C is the most common answer, so he's like, no, no, not multiple choice. No, no, these are more invasive procedures. I'm like, oh, great. So, yeah, I don't like dealing with that either, never being prepared for being told news, especially bad news or whatever. Um, so, yeah, hopefully everybody is doing good today. I found out there is a National Bubble Wrap Day. So... Why are we not celebrating this? I feel like it should be a paid holiday off. I want to spend a day at home popping bubble wrap, being silly. It's funny, the things you did as a kid are more fun than as an adult. I'll give you a great example. I get the bubble wrap in the mail. I don't care what else I got in the mail. I just want to pop the bubble wrap for a while. But I heard they make unpoppable bubble wrap. What a way to take the joy away from people, right? Just like, here's some bubble wrap. It doesn't pop. So you go to pop it and someone's sitting in their chair... I got another victim. I took away their joy. Yes, so awesome. So yeah, that's all I've got today. This is Billy, Broship of the Nerds. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be back some other time. My friend Jack and I are collaborating on this channel. So take care. Bye.